Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And this decal set really surprised me because, to be honest, I didn't think he was going to get one. And I'm talking, of course, about the Earthrise Quintesson Judge. And this decal set includes five decal sheets, convenient, on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the Judge both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Straight out of the packaging, the judge looks awesome and very faithful to his appearance in Transformers the movie. I mean, the whole figure is covered in fantastic sculpted details and lots of paint applications. I mean, the figure looks great. That's why I said earlier I was really surprised that Toy Hex came out with a decal set for this guy. Now, first things first, let's look at the throne. The throne, just like the Quintesson, very nicely sculpted, but has no paint applications and really no coloring whatsoever. It's just a green throne with sculpted details. So go ahead and put that to the side and bring the judge back. Now the first face we're going to look at is Death. This is my favorite Quintesson face. I think it's actually everybody's favorite Quintesson face. Great sculpted details. I love the paint applications there around the eyes and the teeth. And it's really cool how my ring light is reflected in his eyeballs. That's awesome looking. So there we have death. Next up is war. And war, once again, very well sculpted. Got some nice orange painted eyes. The crest is orange. And he's got some aqua blue there on the outside of the face. I was going to say that was his mustache, but the mustache is right there. Now next up we have judgment. Another greatly sculpted face. Lots of uh, paint applications here, right there around the horns, the yellow eyes. I like the looks of that. My second favorite face is Wrath. That one just looks so cool, so demonic. You got the evil red eyes, the yellow teeth. And that, that one looks great. And the last face is Wisdom. Looks like an old man, more great paint applications. I mean, I dig it. This thing is a fantastic looking figure, and I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So let's go ahead and get him back on the throne. Now, according to Toy Hacks' website, there are no decals for the Quintessons alt mode, which is fine by me. I don't think I've ever transformed this guy since I got him. So there you go. One final look at the judge before. Now, before I show the after of the judge here, I want to wish a very special happy birthday to Jacob Whitlock. Jacob turns 12 today and is the son of a longtime Patriot Prime Review subscriber, I Beamer, who actually won my Toy Hacks drawing last week. So, Jacob, happy birthday from Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, on to the judge and after. Now, first things first, let's take a look at the throne once again. The throne gets these new gold decals, a big gold decal here on the back part of the throne with some intricate details and a little gold decal right there inside that indentation. And you get the exact same decals on both sides. Now let's take a look at the judge starting with death. And Death gets new decals here on the crest, a gray decal here on the top, and right there in the center, and new yellow decals with that same design that is on the throne. 
He also gets these new gnarly teeth decals. Man, that really makes this guy look sick. I love it. That is so cool. Moving on over to War. War gets new yellow decals right there to really highlight the orange that was on his crest. He also gets an orange decal in the center and orange decals for the cheeks. And I really like how that looks. Now we move on to Judgment. Judgment gets these new wrinkle decals. They're on the forehead and he now has baggy eyes. There's also some highlights right there on either side of the forehead and a little black decal right there on the crest. Really adds some new features to Judgment here. Now we move on to Wrath, and I love what they did for Wrath. He gets a brand new dark goatee, some dark details right there on the inside of the helmet. Once again, the same designs. New decals right there on the side of the helmet, and these dark circles, or not circles, dark triangles under his eyes, and those blackened eyebrows. So man, that looks so demonic now and so cool. And then lastly, we have Wisdom. Now Wisdom gets these new dark decals right above the eyes, new blue decals underneath the eyes, and a new blue goatee. Now this decal is the only one that seems to give me problems. I just cannot get it to lay flush. And I have used heat, and I highly recommend that for all of these faces. They're all, they all have curves, so you wanna hit them with some low heat to make those decals really stick and conform to the plastic, except this one. I don't know what I did wrong on that, but hey, that face is always kind of facing off to the side because it's death that's front and center for me. Also, on top of the Quintesson, I really like these. You've got all these circuitry details that fill in those indentations on top of the figure. And that looks so much better than the pl plain gray plastic. I love that. And lastly, there was one decal for alt mode right there, a Quintesson Insignia. So there you have it. The Quintesson Judge after. I find Toy Hacks guilty of once again greatly enhancing a Transformers figure. Like I said earlier, this was one figure I really didn't expect a Toy Hacks decal set from, but man, they nailed it. This set here is a prime example of less is more. It really didn't use a lot of big, flashy decals, but highlights that really brought out the features of the figure. Each face looks fantastic now, and I'm even more happy with this figure than I was before. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube. And huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Also, once again, happy birthday, Jacob. Guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!